Welcome to the desktop document camera instructional video. For the next few minutes, we will explain and demonstrate how to operate the Duquesne document camera for use in your classroom. With this convenient tool, text and objects may be projected in great detail onto a projector screen. Lectures and presentations are much more productive. First, it is important to understand the purpose of each of the document camera's components and how they are used. We will start with the lamp, located here. The lamp is important when projecting text or an object onto a projector screen in a dark room. The camera, located here, is used to project the image. To do so, simply maneuver the camera over the desired text or object to be projected. Both the camera and the lamp can be maneuvered easily. To adjust the focus of the projected image, simply press the two white focus buttons on either side of the camera simultaneously. This will automatically adjust the focus of the projected image. We will now focus on the functions of the buttons located on the base of the document camera. The power button will switch the document camera on and off. You will notice a small light below the button panel. This will show you whether the document camera is either on or off. A red light indicates the camera is currently on the standby or powered off mode. Press the power button once. The light will then turn blue, indicating the camera has been turned on. Your projected image should also automatically display on the projector screen. If no light is on, this might indicate that the power cord is unplugged. Check to make sure that the cord is plugged into both the document camera and the wall. If the document camera is plugged in and the light is still not on, Please call the media department at extension 4528 or 4548 for further assistance. To adjust the brightness level of the projected image, you may use the bright level buttons located here. BRT plus will increase the brightness of the projected image, while BRT minus will lower it. A small box will appear at the top left-hand side of the projected image screen displaying the brightness level as it is being adjusted. If you would like to capture any projected image and save it for later viewing, simply press the capture button. A small box labeled processing will appear at the top left-hand corner of the projected image screen. This indicates the captured image is being saved to the Duquesne document camera. Images will not be saved on your computer. Once the image has been saved, you may review any of your previously captured images by pressing play. You will notice that play, BRT minus, capture, and BRT plus display white arrows. Use these arrows to scroll through your captured images. To view a single image in a full screen mode, scroll to the desired image and press enter. The image will then display on the projector screen. You move to the next or previous image while in full screen mode by using the capture and play arrows. Please note that all captured images will be deleted when the document camera is turned off. To exit and return to the currently projected image, press the menu button. When you are finished, be sure to turn off the document camera by pressing the power button once. The power indicator light will turn red. This concludes the desktop document camera instructional video. If you have any further questions or would like a one-on-one -on -one training session with a media representative, please contact the media department.